Eh bien, Jean. Rob, how How's are it you? going? Oh, not so bad. <laughs> Just trying to do my uh my calls in other time zones. yeah, yeah, it's early Just for you, right? You're in Arizona. no, no, yeah. Well, I'm actually I'm not quite in Arizona. I, I go from uh, Texas to Arizona today. Oh, oh, I got you. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing a. A, a slow, I guess, uh, set my clocks back, and then I'll do a rapid set my clocks forward when I go home. Honey. <laughs> well, the uh, the good thing is that you'll have, you know, you have quiet time. You know, you get up. get up at your normal time and you'll have a bunch of quiet time while everybody else around you is still kind of rising. Yeah, Although, that's true. Tomorrow tomorrow will be tomorrow will be good that way. yeah. But I'm I'm doing uh, you know, young young man stuff, uh where I'm uh which, which I'm not anymore, but I'm just saying that I used I used to do, you know, the red eye. So I'm red eyeing back Uh, on on Wednesday. We'll see how that turns out. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> no, I used to do the same thing when I had uh, my kids were young. It was like always a kind of a, a rush to get home as soon as possible. And so I used to take those red eyes all the time. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all about the kiddos. Yep. Hey, Mark. Hello. Hi, Rob. Hi, Bijan. How are you Hey, doing? how's it going, Mark? Yeah, good. Yeah. All good Good afternoon. so far. Interesting day. As they all <laughs> are. Always. <laughs> Always. Always. Yeah, the European call was an uh, interesting kickoff to the to the day. I think you've probably seen Dirk's comments. I <clears throat> uh, actually, I haven't I yet. Head No, step. you haven't. All oh, right, okay. Um, yeah, not overly happy with, um, with things, but it was, um, yeah, things got to start somewhere. It was quite interesting to have the um, the Dutch Data Centre Association uh, talk about what they what they're involved with and what they do, Yeah. and uh, a lot of it is around. Um, raising awareness of the benefits of the data center industry to, to the Netherlands and what it brings, not what it takes away. Uh, and uh, so I think there is definitely, um, I think there's definitely something we should be doing around PR to improve the, <clears throat> to the image. And uh, certainly that's what the Dutch Data Center Association have, have noticed that they need to you know, really sort of um, just really expand the benefits of it. Um, apparently in Denmark, in the north of Denmark, Google are the, I don't know what the population is, so it could be a very sparse population, but they're the, the largest um, employer in the northern part of Denmark. So, Wow. yeah, so that was an interesting fact. I didn't see that coming. Google's <laughs> the largest employer. yeah, so... Yeah, interesting stuff. And yeah, so it's really um, that that was one of the best presentations really out of everything that was talked about and um, worth 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 a look uh, when you when the recording comes out. Hey, Madhu. Hey, Hello. Saket. Good, mo good morning. Good morning, Saket, Mark, Bijan, Rob. Morning. Priya has joined. Hey, Priya. All right, good to see you again, Saket. Hey, Blanks. Saket and I first worked together, what, 50, 15 years ago? What was it, 2008, Almost 2005. 2005. 2005, Yes, at Poughkeepsie. Good days. wow. Yeah, I just, uh, I just ran into a, somebody I, I hired. Um, 
a long time ago and there um they were getting an award an industry award and it's kind of like seeing your kids right so you see that the young fresh engineer <laughs> and uh and the person standing before you you're like what what happened where's the time what happened we can get started rob if you want and um yeah i know yeah scott, if you're... i'll just say scott i don't think he's going to be able to join us he's in singapore okay on business so uh, yeah i think a bit today but, uh, yeah as we uh as we wind down for the uh, for the end of the year, the really the only announcements I have from the foundation side um, is that the uh, registration and call for presentations are now open for regional summit in April. Um, so please, uh, if you need help with any of that information, um, please you know, disseminate that through your projects. We'll also be sending updates on uh, you know via the newsletters and things like that. But um, if you see anything, you know, one feedback we've been given to leadership is if you see a presentation that you're really passionate about, um, you know, don't just submit it and, and crush your fingers. Um, you know, not everything comes across in those forms for presentations. So if you see something that really needs our attention, you know, please feel free to email me or Michael or, you know, whoever the respective foundation person is um, so that, you know, we make sure things aren't missed or if we have questions, we know, we know who to get back to because, uh, like uh, like for Global Summit, I anticipate we'll be we'll be going through so many. Um, it's hard to it's hard to get the full story out of every single submission, and we don't want to miss something that's in, you know that's important to the project leads or important to your projects. Uh, along those lines, Rob, if uh, if we want to invite a presentation to our session, uh, maybe it's a it's a consortium of professors doing research in data centers. Uh, it's a little tricky because uh, at that level, when you invite and they submit an abstract, they expect to present. So it's, uh, is that something we can have a slot if we choose to, uh, and we can be accountable for the quality of the presentation? We're, we're flexible, you know, and we really rely on, on the project. You know, we, you guys, you guys know your projects best. Um, so you know, nothing's written in stone. If you have something from a consortium that you think is, you know, very interesting and we want to block out that time and we kind of do a, internally, we do a bit of pre-approval process of allocating that time. Um, yeah, uh, us and the events team can certainly walk through that. And that way, when you extend the invitation uh, and they make the investment of putting together their information, putting together an abstract that they know that it's very likely they'll be accepted. I, I completely understand that. So yeah, you know, professors have a long memory, so I want to make sure <laughs> that we invite them. Uh, you know. I'm married to one, so I'm ah. very familiar. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my second comment is uh, maybe I'll talk with Saket and Priya and Mark offline, but. I still do want to do a tech workshop with, uh, I thought our sustainability focused one was really good last year. So I'm thinking, you know, as, as OCP gets bigger and bigger, there's a lot of pressure on the time at these summits, uh, whether it's the regional and certainly the annual summit. Mm -hmm. And so I think we can't rely only on the summit because you have uh, existing tracks competing for time and then you have a, other presentations so I think we may need to create our own uh, have our own uh, workshop which could be a two hour three hour event and OCP has in, offered to help I think that would be a good forum to draw people in yeah absolutely all, all we need is pretty much a, an abstract of, of what you're trying to do some somewhat the parameters and that'll that'll get us started um, we've been yeah. we've been doing the um, webinars and tech demos for a while. We we kind of have a formula for it. Yeah, so Saket and and Priya and Mark, I'm thinking maybe a a research and data center facilities. So uh, it could be sustainability, super active, uh, batteries, power, 
uh, that, so maybe we, we invite six to eight professors to come and talk in a workshop and maybe half an hour each or something like that. Uh, we can talk offline. We can spread the topics around. I think that might be an interesting one. And maybe we can have a two-page kind of a ab ab extended abstract go out after that representing the event. So uh, you want only professors or like industry professor, both? The two things I was thinking would be useful, two or three areas I thought would be useful is first is if we could bring academics in just to get a flavor, mm -hmm. uh, to mix it up. Second one I was talking to Mark and Scott is to bring in a big service providers who are not hyperscalers, like the Equinox and a whole, whole bunch of uh, people who are not part of OCP Ready and not hyperscalers. Uh, some big players have invited talks uh, on how they manage all the different metrics and ML, AI, and all these new trends. Uh, bring a few of them in to talk. It could be invited speakers. And the third one I was thinking is maybe we focus on a new area like a Socket, maybe power infrastructure, mm -hmm. something that we don't have an existing track on, and we can bring some some experts in to talk about that. Okay. Uh, now that could be three different workshops, but uh, that's something to think about. Uh, you also get a sense from these workshops on which individuals are willing to put in the work, put in the effort, are motivated. And they tend to be good people to engage in for work streams because they, mm -hmm. you know, they mm -hmm. show up every week and they do stuff. Um, it's otherwise it's a little hard to just go by names. You know? So those were the three topics. Maybe we can note them down and we can talk about it tomorrow if we want. Sounds. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, thanks, Ashish. I think we've um, started uh, trying to engage with Compass data centers, and um, they really seem to be very uh, passionate about sustainability. And uh, from, you know, from the company, all the way from construction, all the way through the operation. And... Yeah, I think sustainability and then uh, r riding the AI curve, right? How, how do they handle those two things? All the demand explosion. So how are they? How are they dealing with that? Under AI, it'll probably be high power racks and liquid cooling and other things. So I think that's a rich area for. I'm sure everyone's already presenting to their customers under closed doors. So this might be a way to tease some of that out. Yeah, come I mean, Compass of um, they just um, released a video. Bill, is it Climber? Yeah. And um, that was sort of a walk through. They're walking through one of the data centers that are under construction. And um, Nancy Kubak was talking in great detail about their, their workflow, their process. And they've got a strategy of how they go about. If you like, I'll be with, uh, I'll be with Nancy and Bill this afternoon. Um, coincidentally, I, I could plant the seed with Nancy. I think she'd be a great presenter. She's very knowledgeable and awesome. Uh, yeah. I which, could plant which, the seed. Which, which company, Rob? That's Compass Data Centers. And Mark's actually Mark is already engaged on the OCP side. But I I really like the idea of a, a, a not yet OCP um, company coming in to talk to us to give us their perspective. I, I really like that approach. And yeah, Scott. I think uh, it's it's been a struggle to kind of draw them in and. I think this this I, I think if people come, they see a whole bunch of people logged on, listening, asking questions. They stay on for a peer talk. I think that could that could show them that we have a big reach and a rich ecosystem. You know? It's different. I like it. It's different than we've done it in the past. Sorry, Mark. Go ahead. Just to say, Scott has already reached out to Compass and has already got a relationship with them. So. Um, so we've already, yeah, it's, it, it still would make sense to 
for, for them to get involved with this. So yeah, it could be Compass, e Equinox, Equinox, Digital Realty, Princeton Group. I don't know. This could be a whole bunch. Yeah. I mean, unless, yeah, Equinox, I wouldn't, from past experience, I wouldn't spend too much time on the recruit those guys. Um, I think there's, there's easier data center operators to to convince um, unless they've had a complete yeah change of well they can come and do it. half of what they do could be bragging about the work they're doing which is fine right uh, we, 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 it has to be technical and mm. the content needs to have a quality but we're fine for them to come and say how awesome they are yeah um, yeah always open but yeah um, well, yeah, I'd like to see it. <laughs> I would see it. You yeah, know, but, but, yeah, get involved, get involved. But I, um, yeah. Yeah, but these things, if you can get one, or uh, you know, as people's competitors start showing up, they might come. You know, you just oh, have yeah. to. It, it can be hard to break the ice, but I think we can work at it. Yeah. Um. I guess another thing on my. I wanted to check was, uh, so Priya, do you have a co-lead that we can introduce tomorrow or, or just wondering? No, we don't. Um, Michael in the previous meeting had taken the action and uh, to, to follow up with someone and I don't, I haven't heard back from him. I'm not sure if Rob, you have an update on that? No, I don't, I haven't spoken to Michael about this, so. Okay, I can him. follow up with Michael, but yeah, I don't think we ready to announce anything tomorrow. Um, other than, I think Saket, you and Brett are going to run the meeting tomorrow with an agenda. If you want to talk to me offline, let me know. I will. Uh, I don't see an invite for tomorrow. I think you have to go through OCP to get an OCP, invite. OCP, OK. Uh, maybe, you know, Rob can help you. I don't have one either, but I have to figure out how to get that. I don't okay. think someone can just add you to the meeting. I think you have to go and go subscribe. Or to or something. Yeah, you have to subscribe. I can send you an invite to it, but then if for for some reason my email account changes, it'll be direct from me to you, and you know that's going okay. to the subscription. Well, that way, if there's an update to the global meeting for some reason, a change in the cadence, a time change, something like that, you'll have the. You'll be connected to the one that gets updated. Okay, let, let me go and do that. So, what are you speaking to or you referring to? So, sorry, Mark, go ahead. Which meeting are you referring to? The, the meeting tomorrow morning, Pacific California time, which is our monthly participants call. All oh, right, okay. It's, it's in my calendar for next week. Yeah, I think you're subscribed. Um, okay, so I'll just, just going to look on the. I think I need to add that, that meeting to my calendar too. I don't have it. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't looked at it. I just want to make sure we're all aligned. Is it next week or is it this week? It's, it's on the 20th. Oh, you're right. You're right. My mistake. I have it on my calendar now. <laughs> So I apologize. Mad. I apologize. Yeah, yeah so, it, is, it is. It is the twentieth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The uh, data center facility OCP project call that one right seven thirty yeah. to eight thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I have that as well. Next one is yeah. Cool. Okay. So I see. I see Brett put a call out for item to be put on the agenda. But have we got anything to? I didn't catch that, Mark. So, have we got any anybody that wants to talk um, during the meeting? Anyone presenting on any work streams? Or I think uh, Brett and Saket have to maybe do the rounds and put an agenda together. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll sync with Brad offline. I think so this is yeah. my first meeting, so I'll uh, sync, let, let me sync with him offline. Yeah. I mean, one idea, okay, I, it may be too early, but, um, you know, Paul, you know, you've been talking to Paul Welding about 
developing this uh, physical API for Colos. And uh -huh. um, yeah, I reached out to Sharshank at Microsoft today to see if we can get Microsoft involvement. Um, I'm just wondering, yeah, whether Paul you know, has got anything to uh, sort of um, present on this briefly, just to create some awareness and maybe if we want to widen the, the group to Colos or any other security companies or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a meeting uh, with Paul this week, later this week. So I'm going to talk to him about him, uh, about like engagement with OCP. So hopefully, if he's ready to present next week, then I'll put him on the agenda list. Great. So is is Paul from Meta? Meta, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah. So we had a quick uh, internal chat uh, early this week. So I have a meeting with him on Thursday. So I'll, I'll follow up with him. Okay. I think those were our topics, Rob. So real, real quick, uh, I don't I haven't participated in this series of calls, so I'm not uh, up to date. But just asking the question: Do you have any major roadblocks that you need help with? Um, what's your outlook for 2024? I mean, are you guys think you're in good position to 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 make changes to um, you know this space, or you know exactly kind of where where do we think we are? I don't see any roadblocks, and I think uh, Saket, you, Brett, and I, and other leads, we should put together a forward-looking outlook for like a one-pager outlook for 2024. You know, what that would be my, I, that would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and just to kind of, I, and I forgot to mention this, we're also, yeah, it would be great, we're asking everyone to kind of put together like a high level like that and maybe like a notional roadmap of some sort, of some sort that you can say like, this is kind of our progression through time, right? And yeah, I agree. I think, uh, so maybe we can, uh, look at that socket to say uh, we can do bottom up what do we think we can achieve and then we can do a little bit of a top down discussion on with everyone saying where are our gaps or what else do we want to achieve based on the bandwidth we have and um, you know just from a coverage mm -hmm. uh, so maybe we can prepare a little bit towards that for discussion uh, next next week, next week. And then after that's kind of cleaned up a little bit, we can share that back with uh, Rob and Vijan and Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, it could just be a one pager on, mm -hmm. you know, what's what's been really active in our area. What are our tracks? What do we think we'll get done in 2024? And some words around the progression. Yeah, if if you pull the work streams and you know even some ambitious dates, you know for what they have, you know even even the month. Um, or end of quarter, you know, here's what we'd like to do. Here's what we'd like to do before regional. Here's what we'd like to do before global. Um, I 100% support that we need to have some forward-looking structure for 2024, and we have these two regional and these two summits six months apart anchoring mm -hmm. us, and then we could we could talk about workshops and other things in between. Absolutely. Uh, so let's, maybe you can start start that socket mm -hmm. uh, i know you're new but sometimes fresh eyes can be good you know yeah well and it'd, it'd be great for familiarity with each of the work streams too you know reaching out to each of the the work stream representatives and just hey you know give me a quick update what what's your plan where are you at um could be a could be a quick yeah. way to so, get familiar so you have three of our active four here today. So Mark and Scott, you could maybe do a, one, a, a smaller meeting with Saket and then maybe Priya for sustainability and then Brandon, Brett and Carl for modular. And then Avinash, Shashank and Eric are not here, but that would be the fourth one on automation. I mean, that would be my suggestion to meet with them. Brett could be optional, but you could have a meeting with them separately to kind of and and the notes you take from that meeting could basically come into our one pager. Okay. Yeah. 
I know we're giving you homework, but uh, hopefully that's okay. That's, it's a it's a good yeah, idea, right. and um, yeah, I mean, I've already yeah invited Suket to one of our Scott and I's one to ones on a Wednesday. So whenever you're ready, Suket, um, I've already spoken to um, and Scott and I have discussed uh, some goals that we have for for next year. So um, we've got yeah, some and I mean, if you ask me, yeah. I think expanding our OCP present OCP ready presence in a not necessarily just membership, of course, that'll be great, but just the presence, re outreach, connections, it could be tech talks from people. I think sustainability piece that Priya is leading. Uh, and then I think even how do we, what are we seeing from AI and ML? Uh, how are we internalizing that in our DCF? I think that would be useful. I'm not saying all this we got you got to figure out by next week, but just giving that. I will get it started, but, and then. Yeah. Sounds good. Any other thoughts, uh, Bijan? No, the, I mean I, I, I think you guys are on it. I, you know, my, my goal is to kind of make sure you guys are aligned for success and. And no roadblocks in front of you that uh, if so then we'll clear the road for you uh, i do think um so i put together kind of like what i thought was some technologies in the pathway from here to you know the next two years but i will say that in this area um maybe one of the most profound changes is 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 getting close to us uh but i i don't want to Put work on your plate so i'll let you guys tell me what you think and then oh. i could, i could come back and say well you know here's some things i see does this make sense and does it fit anywhere in your work streams or whatever but i mean um, would you like to come to our uh, participants call next uh, next week on the 20th at 7 30 to 8 30 a.m on the pacific time uh you could just talk to us for 15 minutes on your thoughts uh we will be talking about other stuff that we talked about today, but we're happy to hear your thoughts. Uh, yeah, you have, you're seeing yeah. everything. So. Unfortunately, I have a conflict on that day. I mean, it's not fully resolved. It's a uh, placeholder uh, for a meeting uh, for uh, something we're started. We're getting started. But no worries. Uh, if if, if not if not if not next week, it could be January, right? So yeah. okay, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. This is a one-off thing, so. Uh, but if it falls through, I can reach out and see if you guys have time. Yeah, we we should have. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we made good use of the half an hour. Rob, thank you for hosting us. Oh, of course. Um, and so, Zach, it's where you know really these leadership meetings. I mean, anything we have that's not a total project call, you know, these are really, and I'll borrow Michael's words, these are your meetings. You know, we're, we're here to remove, as Bijan said, remove roadblocks, you know, find opportunities, connect you to other things we're seeing. But, um, you know, this is your time. So mm -hmm. um, happy to host. Okay, thanks. All right, all right guys. That's all for me. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.